Right, good morning and welcome to another vlog here on Coaster Crazy. Yes, today we are back at the Legoland Windsor Resort. Can't forget to say the resort at the end because it is a resort now with a couple of hotels. And we're here mainly for Lego Mythica. It is the opening day today, so there won't be a lot of Legoland itself in the vlog, but I will show you things that are new. Just to quickly say, on the way here, on the drive, up, well, up the drive, the welcome sign, all brand new characters, all been redone, looks amazing. The entrance looks great. Um, it's going to be a busy day and there's a lot of changes around the park so far. And uh, one of them's this giant model here with the uh, big professor. That's great. Looks really bright and colorful. There's loads of new stuff here. They've extended the shop. That's all been refurbed. You got like this tree in the middle here. I'll try and get some plenty of pictures as well. So if you haven't following her already, uh, check out the uh, Coaster Crazy Facebook page. So I'll get some pictures as well. So this is all brand new here. It looks brilliant. Like the tree of life type thing. I love that. It's got, it's got a crane on it as well. Andy's Tower Crane Services on it. Oh, that's brilliant, that. It's great. Yeah, so the shop's been totally redone. You've got all this stuff in the floor here as well. All the stuff at the bottom. It's really good, that. Especially for the kids. And the shop as well. We'll show you the shop at the end of the day. So yeah, if you are coming to the Merlin Parks, make sure you download the apps. Uh, we've just done that, but uh, they can be a bit confusing sometimes. And I've lost the guys already. I don't even know where they've gone. <laughs> I'm here with Martin and Charlotte. I don't know where they've gone. But yeah, there's all loads of new models around. There's another one down here, which looks great. Brilliant views from the park. I've just seen a Hercules, C-130 Hercules going to land at Heathrow, which is just over there. Windsor Castle's just over here. I love it here. It's so good. It's such a good park. So yeah, mainly here for Lego Mythica. So that's where we'll probably walk down to now. I'll let you know what the queue times and stuff are as we go a bit closer. All this archway is all brand new. Here's some of your times. Yeah, it's got to be busy. So that's quite weird that, that's not flashing, whereas the one at Poulton's Park was flashing. Oh yeah, that's flight the skyline, 75 minutes. Uh, fire and ice, free fall, which is the drop towers, is closed apparently. So yeah, don't know if we're going on the train, but yeah, I'll let you know, give you some more information about Lego Mythica when we get down there, but I love Legoland. It is one of my favorite theme parks in the UK. Been here loads of times now, and I love Lego. Hopefully getting some for my birthday, which is in a couple of weeks as well, because I like Lego and I like Star Wars, so hopefully getting some Lego Star Wars. Um, yeah, I think the guys are down here. There's another new model down here, which I can see there's the hill train, which takes you down to the bottom. Or you can just walk it. So yeah, opening day of Lego Mythica. I'm really excited for this. It's the... Well, it's home to the UK's first flying theatre, uh, which was going to be built in Blackpool, believe it or not. And yeah, the, the, the plans for that have been taking a bit of time. So they managed to get this one open first. Love all this like water feature down here in the middle. This is one of the other models here. They used to be like a band playing. You got like this nice little cool dragon now. So how the kids have run out of the way. That's really smart. Get another picture. I like that. That's awesome. Uh, where have the guys gone? Are they down here? They just walk off in front of me. <laughs> so yeah, the, the, the vlog today will mainly be uh, for the new area, Lego Mythica opening day today. So yeah, let's uh, let's get down there. Oh, uh, master these stairs first. Right, so one of the new things here at the park uh, this season is the Ben and Jerry's ice cream shop. In fact, I think that's brand new. I can't remember, or I don't even know when it opened. 
that's brand new you've got these lego giraffes here that are brand new you've got the lego studios 4d cinema here and you've also got skyrider which we're going on because there's not much of a queue and I don't think I've ever been on this before. It's normally always close when we come here. So yeah, it's probably about a five minute wait for this. But uh, yeah, I love I love Legoland to bits. I really do. It is really one of, truly one of my favorite parks in the UK. The guys aren't, one of the worst. it's not one of the worst. It's one of my favorites. And don't be put off thinking it's a, a kids only park. I mean, I say this every time we come, it is a family park that Lego isn't just for kids. I mean, there's the uh, the Lego, Lego Masters, he loves Lego, yeah. Love Lego. Oh, they love Lego. Lego, is Lego don't aim any, most of their products are not aimed at children. And when it does my head in when people say, oh, Lego Land's not aimed at you, yeah, Norse Gang's the granny, but I enjoyed that. What's that, Mike? What's that? Dreamliner, Qatar. Qatar Dreamliner? Whoa, Qatar Dreamliner. But yeah, I, 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 we love Lego, I love Lego, always have done. It's looking better so far though, what we've seen. What, what we've changed. seen, yeah. It's the really drab and all the Legos faded. Yeah, there was a, yeah, there was a point where there was like paint peeling off things and... But they've, they've really improved, eh? Yeah, they're, they're brand new, yeah, I just mentioned that. The, uh, the giraffes there, they're brand new. There's three of the giraffes. But yeah, this Skyrider, never done it before and it's, it's only up to here, so we might as well do it. All right, so here we are on Skyrider. Yeah, I just asked the staff. He said it was okay to film on here as long as you don't extend your arm past the uh, the ride vehicle. I've never done this before. That is just saying it's the same make as uh, the Squirrel Nutty ride at Alton Towers. It's amazing, isn't it? You come to theme parks and you're still finding new things. I mean, I didn't know that was down there either. It's always a huge yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like the what do you call it? The uh, boating school, isn't it? We've never done it here either. But yeah, check. We've done it in other we did, yeah, did it in Dubai. Yeah, it was amazing. Really good. If you haven't seen that vlog already, go and check it out. Legoland Dubai. No, we did it. No, I I was going to do it in Florida, but they told me it was no single riders. Oh yeah. <laughs> good. Sulk. I did sulk. I don't, I don't remember that, I just remember you sulking. Yeah. <laughs> sulking. I queued up for about half an hour and the woman's on the tannoy like, no single riders. Oh no. <laughs> so yeah, that was like all on Florida. So the boating school here, it's always got a really long queue on it. But this is a really nice ride actually. Nice and smooth. Get some nice aerial views of the um, gardening department. <laughs> I think it is actually as well, yeah. Bit of uh, mini land down here. So some of the rides here, you can actually film on, but obviously some of the main ones you can't, which is quite cool. The guys behind us there. Everyone's got their phones out filming something. But why not? Great views. Oh yeah. So you got mini land just down here as well. Really good. Again, some big, been some big updates in there as well. You got Kennedy Space Center down here, and that's it. Really, it goes back up inside to the station. We'll check out Ben and Jerry's. Might get an, a, a, an ice cream or a milkshake while we're here. Ah, Skyrider, really good attraction. That yeah, it is normally. Uh, closed due to technical dif difficulties, but uh, no, it's still good to get on it. So yeah, here's the brand new Ben and Jerry's peace loving ice cream stand, which is really good. I think we'll get a, an ice cream or a, 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 a milkshake or something later on. Then we want to try and get down to Lego Mythica. So this is the imagination area around here. So every area is themed and every area has got a different sort of name and things like I didn't know this Lego Education Centre was here. And close for social distancing and that. Got your toilets over there, your 4D cinemas just over there. So yeah, masks have to be worn on the rides as well. Or in the queue liner as well. That yeah, it was a good ride that. I do like Lego Land. I really do. If you've never been before please come and check it out. You know it's 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 a good park, 
you can spend a whole day here and you know miss things out that you've not seen before like this around here i didn't didn't know some of this was even here because i've never been up this section before Right, so we just walked down into uh, Miniland, which we're not going to have a walk around now at the moment. We might do later on. We're walking into Duplo Valley, uh, which was brand new for last year. I was here for the opening day of this as well. And it's home to the Duplo Dino Coaster, which is really cute. It's a nice little ride. Um, I actually thought it was a Mac coaster, um, like they've got at uh, Europa Park. Um, Bar Express, it's the same layout and the same sort of thing, but it's this one's not a Mac, it's built by another company, and uh, yeah, it's really cute and it's really nice. And it's got a really long queue on it, <laughs> and it's really slow, and you get two laps on it, so it, it takes ages. Look at it, look how busy it is, it's rammed. Oh my god, it's really busy around here. You've got the helicopters there, oh my god, it's rammed in here really busy oh my god it's absolutely rammed here today i knew it would be busy but it's it's so busy around here this is the learner driver's school it's, <laughs> this is probably the busiest i've ever seen legoland ever i mean the car park was busy and it's really warm as well today. I can't believe I haven't actually said that in the vlog yet. It's 19 degrees today. There's your freestyle Coke machines behind me there. Oh, I've lost the guys. Oh, Martin's just there in front. This is ridiculous around here. So busy. Oh, man. Don't know where I'm going. Oh, down here somewhere. Okay. Oh, the queue here for for whatever that is food yeah they're just chicken 40 minutes for coast guard yeah they're just chicken there was a massive line for that on this here as well busy it actually feels like i'm in america at the moment i've just smelled popcorn fresh oh it's there these little girls have got it here <laughs> i thought i could smell fresh popcorn it sort of reminds me of being in america fresh popcorn and the heat and the busyness really does feel like I'm in mean, like Disneyland or something at the moment. Here's your boating school. Just here. Oh, I can smell that popcorn. Yeah, you go around the American parks, all you can smell is popcorn. It's, it's good to see the park busy, but they're obviously not capping visitors coming. I know we're still in this COVID times at the moment and I couldn't get a full day to come here. Um, we could only get the afternoon slot from one o'clock so well, it's like 20 past one now so opening day came for was this as well monster house party that was a couple of years ago now really good for coma madhouse 50 minutes for that it's really busy oh my god i think we'll literally be doing lego mythica and seeing what what have got low queue times and heading for those standing around in hour long queues all day Oof. it is warm though today and we're off to a toby carvery tonight as well looking forward to that i love a good toby carvery not been to one of those since last year i think we're going to the one in windsor oh god ah run run away <laughs> deep sea adventure that was obviously redone as well so that looks all nice and fresh it's such a pretty park now i mean like i said before you you know there was times where stuff was peeling off rides and you know it, it just looks great now there's nothing out of place it's clean and tidy everything looks fresh and new so yeah lego castle here this actually used to be a tracks ride not a dark ride or anything it was outside i think it was like dinosaur based but I love this outdoor decking area and look across the little lake there Lego Mythica's just done beyond them trees absolutely amazing day today I'm not expecting to get on a lot but what we'll get on I'm sure I'll get it in the vlog 
I'd love to stay at these hotels one day. I really would give you a nice room tour and stuff. I'm having that view though of this lake. Absolutely great. So continuing the walk around uh, the side of the lake here, you've got the other hotel just on this side here. Really, really pretty today. <laughs> Everything's nice and bright. And here we are, Lego Mythica. You've got beastly bites there, I think that's new. Uh, donuts, mini donuts, coffees. Ooh, might get something from there for while we're queuing up. Looks good, doesn't it, Charlotte? It does, yeah. Busy, isn't it? <laughs> Can't believe how warm it is in a warm bar. I know, I know. I'm sweating. This is amazing. <laughs> this looks great. Loving the colour contrasts as well. I know they like the Lego bricks built inside the rock. It's great. Really, really good. Continue with the floor as well. Oh, it's so busy in here. <laughs> One of the dragons there, one of the many huge models they've got in here. So this was a bit of wasted space before. I mean, you had this ride here. Uh, Hydro something I think it's called, or Hydro's Challenge now, which was Squid Surfer. So that was an existing ride. So they've re that. They've built this new climbing frame for the kids with a slide on it. Oh my god, it's rammed in here. I've never, honest to god, I've never seen this park so busy. I'm loving this though, this is so cool. There's your drop towers there, fire and ice, free fall, two zero drop towers, and you got your hungry troll, which is a re theme of the old fish and chip shop, which it still is fish and chips. I love that. So cool. I've lost the guys yet again. <laughs> it's really, really busy here. I think I'm going to have to book a week off at some point and just do some theme parks around the UK during the week because this is ridiculous. <laughs> and this is the exit for it just here. I think the uh, flying feet is around the back of there. You've got a creature encounter there and creature creation just in here. So we'll go and have a look in there. The fish and chips smell amazing. You can smell them from here. So I think we're getting coffees and donuts and I don't know. <laughs> I'll see what happens. So yeah, continue that way for the rest of the park. So we've uh, finally got into the hungry troll and it looks really nice in here. You've got all this all this uh, covering at the top here. Not much to sit inside, but there is seating outside. And a look at the menu just up there. So fish and chips meals, kids meals, battered sausage meals, pie and chips as well. It looks all right. Sorted of drinks, there's beer as well. Yeah, it looks very nice. Yeah, so uh, the meal was actually really nice. We didn't eat it all because we're actually going to a Toby Carver tonight, but I had uh, pie, chips and gravy, proper northern meal, chicken and mushroom pie, and it was delicious, really good. Came to about 17 quid in all with a million discount. Uh, but yeah, the models around here are really good. This rhino, I think it's featured on the ride. Rhino with flowers on it. It's so good. I'll, I'll obviously take you around in a minute. We want to get on the ride because we've been in the park a couple of hours and not been on anything yet. Well, an hour, in fact. Here's your drop towers, fire and ice, fireballs. Just seen a few fans of the channel. Wow, the drop tower is on 35 minutes, but it's really, really warm. It's a massive queue for this. It looks amazing. 
look at that. That looks so good. Right, so currently the wait time is 90 minutes. I have got my uh, stopwatch going, <laughs> which is a, a new feature to the channel. But yeah, you've got the unicorn horse down there. Well, the unicorn, it's not a unicorn horse. The unicorn down there looks really cool. You've got like, a cat bird, a cat bat or something on the on the tree stump there. But it just looks amazing. The uh, building as well here looks great with a with line on it. What do you reckon, Martin? It's all right. Yeah? It's all right. It's all right. I think I think it's great. Oh, it's cool. This is this is a nicer area than Gang um, Dave Ryan's area. Yeah, she, Charlotte's saying she thinks that the line could be a bit more colourful. Yeah. What colours, Charlotte? Well, look at all the colours around there. I think it's just a little bit more yellow, more vibrant. Yeah, because it's all mythical, isn't it? So look at all the nice bright yeah. colours. The unicorn's bright pink yeah, with the blues on it. It is, it. yeah. The fire's right bright. It just looks a bit. Wishy washy. I think it looks it great. Looks cool, I, think, I, I think the colour could be better. I think yellow and blue might have been a bit better for it, but no. more money is it's, spent on this area than the one David Williams area. I yeah, I agree, yeah. Uh, but this is amazing. Yeah, we're just nitpicking little things. Like, I think it looks amazing. It's probably one of the biggest models that uh, Legoland have actually made before. It is amazing, yes. It's really good. You can see how busy it is as well. Rammed, I tell you, it's rammed. And we've just changed the uh, times for Toby Carvery as well. I think we're a bit stuffed after that fishing cheer. It was nice, wasn't it, guys? I did suggest kids. Yeah, you are. I did suggest kids. Did you? Did you? Meals? Yeah, I did. It was a kids' pie meal. No, it wasn't. Oh, yeah, they do kids' meals as well. And they do like fish goujons that have got like a weird, funny colour to it, like a dye on them. Fish bites. Fish bites. Fish bites. Um, they do uh, fish fingers. There was all sorts of stuff in there. A smaller a size oh fish. Charlotte had a battered sausage that looked nice. Me and Martin had a, um, a pie. And yeah, fish as well. It's well nice. But yeah, this looks amazing. Alright, so 15 minutes later, we've actually got down to the entrance. You can see there, 90 minutes all your queue um, restrictions and stuff there, your height boards there. Yeah, just get rid of the sun. <laughs> and there we go. Oh, you can't even see the sign from here. But it's, it's, up, it's up there anyway. Flight of the Skyline. Or oh, what was it Skillion. called? Skillion. Flight of the Skillion. It's up there anyway. <laughs> but yeah, here's your entrances. <laughs> entrance on this side and reserve and ride on the other side so yeah we've got quite a bit to go yet so obvious reasons yeah you've got to wear uh, face masks in the queue line yeah, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a cattle pen in here we've got like, the uh, plastic plastic sheet and cover it there but yeah the um the station or so the, the this sort of section it's yeah. <laughs> like I say we're nitpicking at stuff like this wall here. After everything that's so well themed in this area, and then they go and stick a vinyl sticker on the wall, which isn't even on properly. You can see it all, all creased up here. <laughs> oh, nothing day. Yeah, that'd do my head in with that. But yeah, over time this will just get peeled away. Uh, the flooring's really nice throughout. I mean the whole. The whole land has got the same flooring and I think it's amazing. And you've got the uh, screens up there telling you what some of the uh, creatures are. And you've got the, uh, I don't know what you call these, these bits of material hanging down there. But yeah, I'm not keen that you can see the tin roof of the building there as well. They could have, you know, could have, could have covered that up a bit more. But yeah, that's like saying. We're just, we're just nitpicking, aren't we, really? Just, nit, just nitpicking. If they want to say they're second only to Disney. Second only to Disney. But we, we said the same thing with the uh, haunt, uh, Monster House party as well, the fact that you can see the back of the building. It's it's just nitpicking. It's, you know, the, the ride itself's great. The whole experience itself is great. And I'm expecting the same thing with this as well. The quality of that screen up there is awesome, by the way. Look out for crystal claws on your adventures. 
loads of little features, but yeah, it was, it was pretty good. I like it. Just wish this COVID would uh, go away now, so we won't have all this in here. And uh, wearing these stupid things, but yeah, there's some models over in the glass cabinets just over there. You can just see now, there's a couple of glass cabinet service and figures in but yeah this cattle pen goes up and down quite a bit thank you for your martins telescopic services <laughs> oh. these uh these models in here are really really good this one here in the middle is huge Massive wingspan. I don't even know if you can actually buy these if they're an actual set. But you can see it's got two different wings on there, so maybe that comes in the set. You've got the unicorn there as well. They're really smart, them. Here's your screen up here telling you to look out for different animals on the way. We've waited 32 minutes up to now. But well, these are amazing, these models in here. Really, really cool big dragon there in the middle not really spaced out very well I mean that's pretty close to that one and you got the uh, skillet skillin <laughs> skyline here on the end I like the little one at the bottom there that's really cool yeah it's a big cat pen in here but I think it's literally just all through there and, and then the ride's actually just here so it's not too bad and then there's like cute quizzes on here but we, we can get no quizzes in this bit right um yeah at the, the moment as you can see there is no well there's nothing in there apart from a bit of rubbish <laughs> well you got these boards all the way down this wall here basically they're uh, the lego um, surfaces and you'll be able to take the Lego bricks out of there and stick them on the wall for kids to uh, entertain themselves. Like I said at the moment this has got, uh, it's just got rubbish in here. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, no, we've um, 52 minutes we've still got, well, 52 minutes we've been queuing for and we've still got all this cattle pen here. It's not it's not that much more to, uh, to to queue up for now. I'm guessing like another 15, 20 minutes at least. So I don't know. <laughs> we don't we don't know. But you get batched into like little bays just over there in front of us, and then I think you go into like a pre-show. You'll see in a minute. But I can't film on the ride. Um, obviously Merlin policy. Uh, you can't film on the ride because it's um, like on an elevated platform as well. So there's chances of dropping your camera so i'll film as much as i can and then obviously give you a, a review at the end but yeah look, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it really looking for ah, mine mine right here we go so we waited an hour an hour and 13 minutes wow <laughs> Yeah, uh, disabled people watching this, I don't know if there's a, a lift, but I'm guessing there is. There's definitely not one in this bit. <laughs> Seems to be a lot of stairs in the attractions here. Huh? Yeah. Oh, here we go. I don't know what number we were on. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh, that's right, they're just standing in the middle. You're about to take flight on an incredible adventure as you go even deeper into this parallel world where your Lego creations literally come to life. Bob's. <laughs> Bob's. No, we're not doing tricks. You 
see, someone just like you created bombs, or rather built it with Lego bricks. And then, incredibly, he came to life here in Lego Mythica. In fact, all the amazing, fantastical creatures you make from Lego bricks, like a two-headed sea monster, or a flowery rhinoceros, transform to living, breathing, full-sized versions of what you dreamed of and built. Can you imagine that? But there's a problem. Lately, the levels of imagination of fuel like a mythica have been running low. We need you to be inspired to imagine and build creatures to flourish in this world. You're about to be Maximus, our special friend, the majestic skyline. Maximus has invited you to travel with him on a journey further into Lego Mythica. Hopefully, you'll be lucky enough to see the mysterious fire and iceberg. But beware that four-headed chimera who lurks across the land. He's known to be a bit snappy. Oh no, everyone can't fly like you, Bobs. Instead, we've created these special seats. After you board, Maximus will pick up the gondola to take you as far as he dares. So before we begin, I'd like you to notice the number you're standing on. Do you have a number? Good. This will be the same number as your assigned seat on the gondola. No, Bob's not inside. You know the rules. Rules are super important, especially when traveling to a wild world you've never seen before. So please pay attention to these safety instructions in preparation for your journey. For the enjoyment and safety of all our guests, we ask that you please follow the guide. Once in the correct boarding area, please stow bags and loose items in the provided compartments. Any loose-fitting shoes, such as slip-off shoes or flip-flops, should be removed and left in this area. Please find your assigned number and take a seat, being sure to fasten your seatbelt by feeding it through the center loop and then inserting in the buckle on your left. Sit back comfortably and keep your arms to yourself. Don't forget to pull the yellow top. You are now ready to go. Thank you, and enjoy your flight with the sky. Please leave any bags and loose belongings in the storage compartments, which you'll find on the wall opposite your assigned gondola. Find your seat and ensure smaller riders are sat next to the adults. Once you are seated, please feed your seatbelt through the centre loop and insert the buckle on your left. Your incredible adventure will start soon. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, that was amazing. Really, really good. Disney quality attraction is that. Really good um, motion on it. In fact, if, if you had a bit too many sweets, you'd probably feel a bit sick on there. It would be good if it was 3D. However, if it was 3D, it probably would make you feel a bit more sick uh, than I feel at the moment. But no, amazing, really good quality film on that. I actually pulled, well, it's a bit of a tip for you because you've got to wear your face masks in the queue line on, on the ride. Just pull it down a little bit so it's your nose is clear. As long as you've got self, uh, socially distanced from the other party, which we did as well, um, it, 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 there's a lot of smell pods in there, so it smells really good. There's a bit where you go through like a volcano, you can smell like the burning and stuff like that. Wickham Man, I'll show it to you because it's the same smell. Oh, is it? All oh, right, Wickham. Smell like the same. Smell like Wickham Man, yeah. Um, absolutely amazing attraction, really good quality screen in there. It's actually on three levels. I did say about the disabled people, but how they would get up the stairs. Well, they would all get dispatched onto the bottom floor, and there's a middle one. We were on the top floor absolutely amazing really really good quality attraction that in fact it's one of the best in the uk now in fact i might even go and say it, it's probably the best dark ride in the uk now absolutely amazing i love the models the skyline here noisy uh, virgin atlantic there <laughs> but no that's amazing i'm not sure we'll do any of the other rides in this area they've got the drop towers there but we've done the same one at uh, Poulter's Park, uh, the uh, windmill tower is exactly the same model built by Zira. Um, but no, that was awesome, really good. What did you think, um, Martin? Good. Did I? Good. Huh? Yeah, I really liked it. Good. Yeah, it was good. Awesome, yeah. Good. So, good. I'm not really the biggest fan of flying there. Yeah, but I've, we've, uh, we've only been on the ones in Ferrari World and Ferrari Land. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, but I haven't been on Sorry. Well. Well. No, because I'm, I'm, I'm basic. Sorry. Oh, I prefer something like that in fact and the one at Ferrari Land's really good because it's all like cars based and you see the Ferraris and you go through different cities and things that's amazing obviously I couldn't get they're all nice rides yeah it's very motion based as well so like I said don't modern day 
day simulator. A modern day simulator, yeah. Don't come in here eating after eating a load of um, food though, because you will feel a bit sick, I think. There wasn't much movement. I thought there was. It's just like little bits of food. It's enough though, isn't it? If you're not into motion simulators. I was hoping it was going to launch us forward. <laughs> Yeah, but smell pods in there, there was mist effects in there, wind effects, really good. Like I said, I can't film on the ride, so I can't show you what it is, but it's a, it's like a, it's a made up ride. Lego Mythica itself doesn't actually exist. It's, um, it's like a made up product. I was actually saying to the guys here, I think it's something that Lego themselves have actually said to, well, Lego, own this park now it's not actually owned by Merlin anymore so it's actually owned by Lego Incorporated so they probably said oh we've got this new product it's a bit of a prototype so get the models in there get a ride made of it and see how it goes but yeah I love that like I said you've also got the drop towers here fire and ice free fall we won't bother waiting for these at half an hour for this looks really good done the same one out to Polton's Park and you also got Hydra's Challenge just here as well which looks really good. Same ride that was here before, Squid Surfer. I'm not sure how long it is, but it's such a busy day today. I don't think it'll be staying much longer. Like I said, we've got a, we've got a meal at Toby Carvery in a, in a few hours, so I think we'll just walk around a bit more of the park, see what else we can go on, but absolutely fantastic. If you are thinking about coming to Legoland or if you've never been before and go, oh, well, it's just a kid's park, get that out of your mind it's not just a kids park it's a family park and that just shows that that is one of the best dark rides in the uk i don't think i actually have a favorite oh i can smell the rubber from the floor here <laughs> i don't actually think i have a favorite dark ride as such but that's that's up there i think it could be potentially my favorite dark ride in the uk really really good get yourself to legoland windsor and come and check out these new rides. Leco Mythica. We'll see some more of the park now. My God, it's absolutely rammed today. I haven't really filmed anything since we left um, Lego Mythica area. Just had one of the donuts as well, actually. It was very nice. I totally forgot to get my camera out of the pocket. I had uh, one with. Um, like silver and white bits all over it. It was actually like a lemon meringue flavor. It was amazing. And yeah, Treasure of Pirate Falls, 65 minutes just there behind me. Crazy, it is so busy today and it's really warm as well. It's 21 degrees. I mean, I think it's been hotter. We've had hotter days this year so far, but it just feels really humid today because it's technically now summer. But yeah, going around to see what the dragon's like. We'll probably end up waiting for the dragon and going on there. Because it is pretty much the main ride here now. Well, even with the new stuff here, dragon's the best ride here. The coast is awesome, bit of a dark ride as well. And built by Big Country Motioneering. The same company that's only built five coasters in the entire world. And they're all in the UK. The other one, one of the other ones, is the Dragon's Apprentice over here. I didn't mention this when we went to Joyland because uh, Spook Express is made by the same company. Well, look at the today. It's oh, it's really warm. It's so busy though. Really, really busy. Go and see what the Dragon's like. The park is looking super fresh though. It's looking so good. Looking so nice, everything's clean and tidy and fresh and painted, it looks amazing. Yeah, not, not, not everything, but most things. They did more things at this pen one below. Is it big? Yeah, it's a big queue. Well, that didn't last long. <laughs> Um, yeah, the queue for uh, the dragon, 85 minutes, not waiting that, <laughs> we're not waiting 85 minutes, especially when we just waited an hour and 20 minutes for uh, flight of the uh, Skyline, so we're going back, yeah, uh, Skillion, back, fl flight of the Skillion, so we're going back to where we started, 
uh, probably get a milkshake and then walk around Miniland and then call it a day. It's half four now, like I said, we entered the park at one o'clock and in that whole time we've been on two rides. So my big tip, pretty much my only tip for Legoland is get yourselves here during the week. Do not come at the weekend, whatever you do. <laughs> Um, yeah, do not come on. She said something about a Friday, but um, don't don't come during the week. I mean, I'm not saying don't come at all, and I'm trying to not put you off from coming here. It's just truly is the busiest theme park in the UK. I mean, you can see you can see around me. It's it's heaving. There's every ride's on over an hour long. Uh, last thing you want to do, especially if you've got a young family, is bring them to a park like this, and you're standing in queues for hours on end I just don't get it if you've got small children young kids I know that it's hard to probably take them out of school and stuff like that to bring them here but if you can during the week is the best time I'd love to go on the log flume right now but I'm not waiting 60 minutes for that either or whatever it was on 65 I can't even remember now it's so hot but we've come we've come to the park to do what we wanted to do and see what we wanted to see so yeah we might as well go and have a milkshake i've seen some airplanes fly over so i'm quite happy just in a boeing 747 cargo and uh yeah i've got an incoming call probably a prank call as well seem to be getting loads of them at the moment fed up of it <laughs> but yeah get yourselves to legoland if you've never been before come and check it out just don't come on a weekend <laughs> So we're on the balloon school now, probably the uh, the last ride of the day for us here at Legoland Winter Resort. And we've had a really good day, even though this is probably, what, the fourth ride we've been on? Uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I ended up doing the um, 4D experience. I, di I didn't say anything about it, but it was really good. I got covered in water and suds and stuff like that. It was really good. It was a Lego Mythica film. You rock in the boat. <laughs> So yeah, we're up in the, up in the sky. Uh, but no, uh, the new addition to the park, Lego Mythica, uh, the flight of the Skyline's really good. All the other stuff is really good as well. Although we didn't get to see most of it anyway. Pull the rope if you want to go higher. What have you, uh, have you enjoyed your day, guys? Yeah. Yes, it's better here. It's what? Better. Better? Than it, than it was. Better than well, yeah, it was. It looks nicer. They've actually places. spent some money on making the place look things. nicer. Yeah, it ties. It was very Shut up! <laughs> Skyline was good. Yeah. Better Skillian. than I expected. Better Skillian than expected. was good. Skillian. <laughs> there's still a lot of areas in this park that are really dirty and look run down. Yeah, there's still a few. But they've, definitely spent, they've definitely spent money it's on making It's crazy to yeah. think that brand new ride's opened and there's still thousands and thousands of people queuing for hours and hours. Oh, it's yeah. like, where it, were all these people before? It's rant. ridiculous. It's, it's just gone six o'clock and there's still rides that are on 80 minutes. It's crazy, but yeah. It's what but, was expected. Yeah. It's a bank holiday weekend. But yeah, not a bad ride on that then. Oh, right, so that's the end of the day for us here at Legoland Windsor. It's um, around half five, coming up to half five. We've got a, a meal booked, uh, half seven now, Toby Carvery. Love a good Toby Carvery. Not had one for a while. Just want to uh, end up the vlog at the uh, main entrance and exit of the park. This looks really good. This is probably the best new model in the whole entire park now. Even the ones that are down at Mythica, I think this is brilliant. The colours on it are great, really bright and vibrant. There's a lot of these new models around the park as well. When you drive in up to the entrance of the park, that's the sort of models there is. But there's a lot of the old ones still around. Never uh, mind. There's another 747 coming in. We've seen quite a few cargo planes. Uh, I said at the beginning of the vlog, I was got to do uh, the shop, but the queue is absolutely massive for the shop. There's another 747 here. They've actually grounded a lot of 747s, uh, jumbo jets, if you're not uh, aware of the number. It's, um, oh, it's not, it's, uh, it's Airbus A380 Emirates. We've been on that when we went to Dubai. Where is it? There it is. Emirates A380. Yeah, that's what we went on when we went to Dubai, one of those. But yeah, the queue for the shop is absolutely massive. 
it's probably half an hour 40 minutes just to wait to go in the shop <laughs> but no we've had a good day today uh, we we came for what we wanted to come for and we really enjoyed it lego mythica is a great new addition to the park really well themed and the ride itself uh, flight of the skillion fly and skyline is awesome the rest of the park very busy so we didn't experience that there's a couple of rides that we went on i did the 4d cinema which was pretty good we did fairy tale brook i didn't film it you know you've seen it before but um yeah and the and the sky balloon things but no good day tomorrow we're actually going to a small amusement park in nottinghamshire called sherwood forest park uh, fun park uh, which is new there's not much there. there's a little credit and it's just a new vlog and we've never been before and then we're actually going into Sheffield we'll probably go around the uh, shopping centre and then we're staying the night in Sheffield and then on Monday bank holiday Monday we're going to Clifton Valley I think it's Clifton Valley amusements or something like that again another very small amusement park I just want to stay away from the big theme parks because as you've seen today very busy so that's it anyway hope you've enjoyed this vlog today don't forget to uh, comment like and subscribe hit the notification bell for next time we'll upload another video if you want to see more f pictures of what i've taken throughout the day don't forget to check the facebook page which is coaster crazy and the instagram account which is coaster crazy andy right there we go hope you've enjoyed the vlog today from legoland windsor resort and i'll see you in the next one bye for now